Hello, and today I want to do a video on uh, upgrading Drupal. Now, this is a very important thing th that you need to do with, it's like having any dynamic software. There's always security exploits. So they release Drupal updates and you are expected um, to em embrace the help they're giving you. And I'm currently running Drupal 6.8, so I'm, I'm going to show I'm going to show you today the upgrade process to 6.9. Um, just on my basic demo install. So first thing I'm going to want to do is, of course, download and extract the latest Drupal version. So we want to go to save it on a desktop or wherever you want to save it. And a really important tool that you're going to want to be using um, when you're doing this is the upgrade.txt file in the um, folder. That's really going to help you. And it gives us some basic instructions in there. What we need to do next is to um, go into our website where our Drupal installation is kept. And we just need to download the folder named sites to our computer. This this is why it was always important to have your con contributed modules and themes in that folder so that when you upgraded it was easier. But I forgot to mention this the first thing that you need to do when upgrading Drupal is to turn off your contributed modules and themes that's modules and uh, and or themes that you've um, downloaded either off Drupal.org or you've developed yourself so you can do that by going to your website and into your Drupal installation. Um, and as you see, I have a custom theme here. It's not the default garland. Um, and I'm going to go into my modules and I'm going to go into the modules section and I'm going to uncheck all the modules that were contributed so that means unchecking all those AdSense modules anything that's not in a thing called core so anything called core you can disc discount I'm gonna have to disable this custom module and basically disable any modules that you've downloaded that didn't come with Drupal And as we wait for that, I'm also going to disable the AdSense core. I 
And the next thing you're going to want to do is go to the place where you configure themes and change back to a, a core theme, a theme that can quadruple core. I highly recommend that you uh, go to the garland theme because that's the default theme and just to be safe. So I'm going to go to Garland here. And that step's completed. Um, so now we can basically overwrite Drupal with the new version. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is copy the folder name sites from our Drupal installation to our local computer. So we're going to copy the sites folder. This is going to contain all the custom information so that we won't have to overwrite the installation. Because what, what we're basically doing is overwriting our entire Drupal install with the new version. So that, that, that means we've got a copy of all our custom modules on our desktop and you might want to Back up your database as well, in case anything goes awry. But I'm not going to cover that. Um, so now we can basically go into our. Drupal core installation that we've just downloaded. So we've basically got the two folders, our new installation and our website directory open at once. So what we're going to want to do is basically copy all the stuff from the um, original Drupal folder, the one that we download, I'm going to paste it into the, um, and obviously it's going to ask us want to replace, we want to replace all the items. Okay, so we've up upgraded uh, the the files in our site. So this is basically all the files for a new installation of Drupal because we just got it off the website. It doesn't know that we are already had an installation. So we need to upload the existing sites folder that we 
downloaded to our computer before to the web server. This is basically going to give all the, the Drupal installation all the information that it needs to know that we're doing an upgrade and that we've got an existing site. What we now need to do is to go to our domain and type in update.php and this was going to upgrade our database and it tells you back up your database and back up your files again we're not going to cover that and I'm going to click continue and it's basically going to upgrade it automatically d detect everything and it's going to say it's completed often you get something that says nothing was done because often you don't need to up upgrade your database but it's wise to do it anyway so now if we go back if we go back to the admin section what we're now going to need to do is first view our status report and notice the name of our site is is still the same and it it tells us here that we we are running the latest version of Drupal core up to date so the the upgrade's gone successfully. Now let's re restore our site back to its um, status that it had before we did the upgrade. So we're just gonna go and enable our custom theme. And as you notice, it's still there because we're still running the same site, and the enabled option is still checked. And the look of our site's restored. Um, the next thing we need to do is go back in and re-enable any custom modules that we were using. So I was using the AdSense module and the AdSense in injector. I also had a custom module enabled <laughs> so there you go we've successfully upgraded our site and as you see it has the custom AdSense code that I inserted in a previous tutorial so everything's the same right but our site is now upgraded and secure thank you for watching this video and I hope it helped you